This is promising. $200 social security increase plus additional $2,000 for stimulus check. So let's take a look at each of the proposal in detail, including people on social security, SSI, SSDI, VA beneficiaries, people on retirement, RRB. Today in this video, we have got some new information regarding the new promising bill, a new promising report. If you have a lower or medium income, then you are more likely to receive the stimulus check. So if you are in this category, then it's worth looking at the details. This money could be used for variety of necessities and it's clear that money would be put into the great use. I have got all the details right here in this video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Turn on all the bell notifications. Let's get right into all the details. Speaking of the potential of the stimulus check and who could be potentially included, what type of stimulus check it could be when it comes out and why exactly government will be issuing stimulus check in this particular scenario also how much the stimulus money could be and when can you able to receive it we have got all the details and i'll be breaking down all the details all the questions speculations right here in this video now guys in the event of the stimulus check while deciding federal reserve looks at the economy and they determine how much stimulus does the economy need how much money is required in order to help people recover then the money is then printed out and pushed into the economy although one thing to note though federal reserve is providing stimulus money it's not out of their kindness it's because they know if money is given to the people they will be going to spend it and this is the best way to get economy up and running once again and the main intention of the stimulus money is that those money will be quickly spent into the economy and should not be saved into people's bank account this is because government recognizes the importance of getting money into the economy quickly and very efficient if let's say people save their stimulus check they are not helping out economy Economy as much as they could be the government wants to spend all of the money into the all the stimulus check in different sectors of the economy such as groceries clothing and many more and through this way money is spread out through the entire economy and positive impact will be generated many studies have showed that it's the best way to get money into the economy through the stimulus checks so when it comes down to the next round of stimulus check government thinks that it's very important to spend it and you can buy groceries clothes and other items that you need and this is the way that you are helping out economy also taking care of your own needs as well so well what does this mean for businesses well when we all get the stimulus check we all go out and spend them we basically go out to walmart target and all of a the sudden these businesses are seeing huge run into their inventory and they look at their inventory and they see that it has been wiped out out of the stock in the matter of days so basically they have to reach their suppliers and order more items and their suppliers have to go to the manufacturer in order to manufacture more items it's a basically a chain effect it's like food chain it's like a domino effect that keeps everything going and it doesn't take much for it you know what to start this effect to stimulate the economy you can see entire economy is just stimulated in a matter of week or two when it comes down to the stimulus check it's the great way to stimulate the economy they are effective they don't take long and basically causes huge impact on businesses people and those who really need it i hope this has provided you with a great example the economic cycle and how it affects you economy and how stimulus checks are the best way now guys in the event of the stimulus check this could be the difficult question to answer as it ultimately depends on the economic situation however if economic situation was similar to what was in the early 2020 then it was likely that the same criteria will be used for this time as well and speaking of what type of a stimulus check would it be well again it's little bit more predictable i believe that it could be similar to the third stimulus check as it would be the same amount for the last one it means that it could be one thousand four hundred dollar one thousand two hundred dollar two thousand dollar or probably one thousand six hundred dollars and of course these amounts can depend on the eligibility and other sorts of factors and if you check out the previous rounds of stimulus check of one thousand two hundred dollars six hundred dollars stimulus check and one thousand four hundred dollars stimulus check last three rounds are showing one very important factor that is the eligibility criteria individuals with adjusted gross income below seventy five thousand dollars as individuals and 150 thousand for married couples were eligible for the first round of stimulus check 1200 payment for per person and 2400 for married couples then right here into the second round of stimulus check individuals receiving six hundred dollars and 1200 for married couples filing jointly eligibility was 
was below $75,000 for individuals and below $150,000 for married couples filing jointly were eligible for the stimulus check. Then right over here onto the third round of stimulus check for $1,400 per person and $2,800 for married couples filing jointly, income threshold should be below $80,000 for individuals and $160,000 for married couples filing jointly. So you see the point if your income threshold as an individual below $70,000 at least and if your income threshold as a married couple is below $150,000 then chances are you could be the low income fixed income beneficiary receiving social security SSI, SSDI, survivors benefits and specifically the stimulus check could be specifically designed and intended to provide financial relief for those who need it the most those who are struggling financially and may have limited source of income. The true purpose of stimulus check is government aims to stimulate the economy by distribution of the funds to those who are most likely to spend the money. That's where low income fixed income beneficiaries are the target to provide the stimulus check because those are the people who will be likely going to spend the money right away when they will be going to receive another round of stimulus check. If you give the stimulus check to rich people, people with higher income threshold, then there is a very low likelihood they'll be going to spend that money instead. They'll be going to save that money into their bank account. So you see the point, low income fixed income beneficiaries would be the first target to provide the stimulus money. Generally, as per the previous round of stimulus check, income threshold for the eligibility typically ranges from $75,000 to $100,000 for individuals and $150,000 to $200,000 for married couples filing joint. It's worth noting that previous stimulus check also included provisions for adult depending on specific income threshold. The main determining factor for eligibility is income and low income fixed income individuals are usually primary recipients of stimulus check. But you need to understand Congress will ultimately determine the rules and eligibility criteria for the stimulus check and it's still uncertain what they will be going to decide into the future. However, based on the historical patterns, usually government's intention happens to land upon those group of people, support those people with limited income. So it is highly likely that low income fixed income beneficiaries will be going to receive the another round of stimulus check if it is approved. The previous three rounds of stimulus check have been relatively quick with the distribution of the payments. Especially the second and the third round of payment was relatively quick with reaching into the people's bank account just within the week of approval. Granted, there are some delays into the stimulus check, particularly with the information not available onto the IRS. Granted, there are some round of stimulus check where people got their payment delayed due to information not available to the IRS, social security not providing the details to the IRS so that they can issue the stimulus check. But here is the thing guys, let's say in the event of another round of stimulus check approval, fixed income beneficiaries will be going to receive the checks. Once the bill is signed into the law, it generally takes one week to reach the stimulus check into your bank account or deposited into your mails. Now this is still work in progress. Program is still under review but it is definitely something that if it is implemented it will be promising and i'm sure many people will be excited for this one now let's break it down both of the numbers further now if the 200 dollars monthly increase were implemented for just one year it would result in additional 2400 dollars for the beneficiary 200 dollars times 12 that will be 2400 dollars per beneficiary now considering approximately there are 70 million beneficiaries across various programs like social security retirement ssdi disability ssi rrb the total cost to the federal government for the one year would be 168 billion dollars and this is the cost that the government will be going to cost for one year while on the other hand if they were to distribute two thousand dollar for stimulus check a one-time payment to same 70 million beneficiaries those same group of people that would be going to cost 140 billion dollars and that would provide each of the beneficiary a lump sum payment of about $2,000. Now do let me know which one better suits your particular needs whether it's $200 per month or $2,000 one time lump sum payment. Do let me know in the comments down below. Before we proceed further, it's very important to note that these numbers are estimates and depend on the specific details of the proposed plan. So what is the key takeaway from this one? The total cost for the federal government for implementation of Social Security Expansion Act would be $168 billion per year and for the fourth stimulus check for $2,000 a one-time check
project, it would be costing around $140 billion. So in terms of the cost, the $200 increase would require additional $28 billion for the federal government compared to stimulus check. However guys, one crucial aspect to consider is taxes. While stimulus check have been generally non-taxable in the past, social security benefits may be subject to the taxation. In certain circumstances, stimulus checks are considered refundable tax credit and not counted as your income, which means they don't affect the other resources or result in additional amount of taxes. However guys, a $200 monthly raise into the social security benefits may be taxable depending on your annual income. So if your income exceeds $25,000 as an individual or $32,000 as a married couple, then your benefits may become taxable. So that's the downside of $200 per month benefit increase. Now let's examine the implication of these differences. With $2,000 post stimulus check, you would receive a lump sum payment, one time payment, which is not taxable. And this will be immediate funds that you have available in your financial, in your bank account. However, guys, $200 per month benefit raise while providing the smaller upfront amount, it could potentially result in larger overall benefits. We are talking about $2,400 per year. But keep in mind that if your income is close or to exceed the taxable threshold, then the tax implication may reduce your net gain from that raise. Make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel.